you heard of the movie Frozen, right? Because the popular song in yeah, that movie called Let It Go. And I think that's a powerful word. Three simple words, let it go. That phrase can be applied to many circumstances, to many different situations. And I want to share a scripture with you. It comes from 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 9. And it says, The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. This word is probably more for me than it may be for you. But maybe you find yourself in a situation like I am. Maybe you keep falling back into sin. Maybe you're struggling in your walk with Christ. And the word for today is let it go. You want to live for Christ. You want to live for God or you're struggling in that walk. My message is you let it go. You're trying to have one foot in the church and one foot in the club. You're trying to have one foot with Jesus and then one foot in the world. We can't live the best of both worlds. It's one or the other. It's, it, it, it can't be on the fence anymore. We can't be on the fence anymore. We have to be for Christ or against Christ. We have to, we, we just got to stop. We got to let it go. The things of this world, the things of this flesh, we got to let it go. And it's not going to be easy. It's not easy. I know for a fact it's not easy, but we could be encouraged. We could be filled with great joy because we have the God of the universe on our side. When we're walking in, in right standing with God, if we're walking in his ways, if we're reading our word, if we're praying, if we're fasting, if we're seeking the face of God sincerely from our heart, then we're having a relationship, a growing relationship with Jesus Christ. All things are possible. All things are possible if you believe. God will deliver you. He'll bring you out of your situation, your struggle, whatever you're dealing with. God will bring you out. It may take some time. It may not be an instant thing. It could be, but it may take some time. And even if it does, God is going to walk with us every step of the way. So my friend, we got to let it go. I know it's hard to let some of this stuff from the world go. The smoking, the vaping, the drinking, the partying. But at this time in this world, you can read a scripture in the Bible that's prophetic, that has prophesied the things that are coming in the last days, and we could turn on the news and see those exact things. Time is running out, folks. And we need Jesus. This world needs Jesus. You are not here by mistake. You have a purpose. God has a purpose for you. God can use you no matter what field you go in, no matter what career path you choose. God can use you. You may be on the job. You may be in your family. You may be in the grocery store and God may touch your heart and minister to someone or just to show the love of Jesus to them. We can't do that unless we're right ourselves. There's souls that need to be saved. Time is running out. We can't continue to be on the fence. We can't continue to be on the fence. I once told a story about a, uh, I believe someone had a dream and it was one side of a field and another side of the field and it was separated by a fence and, and they were on the fence and they found out the fence ended up being the devil's too. We can't afford to be on the fence. The fence is the enemies. If the enemy can have you having one foot in the world and one foot in church, he don't care. The enemy starts to have a problem when you're 100% committed to Jesus. Why? Because he's lost the never one. We need Jesus. I know there's so much debate about who's going to be president, who's going to be leading the country. But at the end of the day, what this country needs, what this world needs is Jesus Christ. And we have the way to him right here in this book. Right here in this book. This is foundation. We got to get back to it. We got to let the stuff of the world go. And we got to turn our hearts back to Jesus Christ. Our lives, our lives, our lives and our souls depend on it.